They say that fights aren't won in the ring, they're won in the gym. The gym is where you develop. It's where you build character, integrity, confidence. This particular gym helped keep troubled kids off the streets. It was their second home. Now, it's gone. We're always looking for a way to give back to our community. So a group of us got together to fight each other, to raise money for a new gym. We're not boxers. We're cooking your food, serving your drinks, cutting your hair, making your coffee. At first, the coaches didn't think much of us. They thought we were soft, that we couldn't handle the training. It's been tough. We've been pushed to our breaking point. Not the bell! This ain't fucking fitness, world. When I say double time, I mean double time. Let's go! Double a few have quit. Some have fallen to injury, but the majority have persevered. Follow our journey, both inside and outside the ring, as we make the long trek down the road to Restaurant Rumble. kind of woke up with the, that feeling in the pit of your stomach, like something serious is going to happen today. Uh, yeah, it's going good. I, I puked in the alley about an hour ago and I'm not fucking shitting you. I think, I'm convinced that I got food poisoning, but everybody's telling me it's nerves. Went to Woodwoods and stuff was happening and I just like felt all wrong inside and it was super queasy. There was some hostility going on around, the, like, like some guys like fucking headphones in. Don't make eye contact with anybody, don't talk to anybody, just like head down, totally concentrating and not really like interacting. The level of seriousness just increased and you're just, you know, seeing everybody walk around and you just wanted to like start preparing yourself mentally and physically and getting warmed up and get your hands wrapped. Very nerve wracking. Uh, anyone that would say that they weren't nervous, they're clearly lying out of their teeth. Obviously I was really nervous. The the tension was, you could feel it from everybody, so it just kind of built and built and built. You know, I think it's actually ex excitement, is what I heard. <laughs> um, it was a pretty intense day. Uh, I don't, yeah, I remember actually waking up and was super nervous. I hadn't been nervous for the, pretty much the lead up to the entire event. Yeah, it was, there was a lot of nerves. It's gonna happen, right? What's gonna happen is gonna happen. Just getting ready to fight. Warm enough. And then we got shown around the back. It's like, oh, here's the one toilet that everybody's sharing. And I was like, fuck, what if I gotta go, man? Like, I can't. All the, all the guys are like getting changed, and I'm like, you know, shitting my life away in the, in the one toilet that's there. I kept telling myself to be calm, and it really helped a lot. Uh, but. I, mean, I went to the washroom 20 times in an hour. I'm going to the alibi room to shit my life away right now. <laughs> uh, it's closed. And hopefully none of the staff will be there because I'm having a party right now. It's like, it's the worst day of my life. They, they put their heart and soul into it. it. It was a professional production. So walking in there, it was, you know, you got goosebumps. I'm going to give my heart. I am Evelyn. I need you all to stay now. Trying to warm up, you're trying to concentrate, but then you can hear people go, ah, uh, yeah, ah, uh, yeah, ah. Uh. Straight up the ring. Straight up the ring. A roller coaster of like, okay, I'm gonna do this. Oh shit, I don't want to do this anymore. Oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really hit her hard. But then you like look at her, she's like, oh shit, she's gonna hit me hard. And then like all that's going through. Oh fuck! I mean, all the, all the fights were great. Everyone's fight was just crazy. <laughs> the undercard fights, it was like, right, go. I remember Evelyn whispering to me saying, fight strong, Aya. And I was just like, ooh, and then I just went, bah, just kind of like crazy with like silly combinations, but I think I got a couple of good ones in there. I was out on my feet for the last part of the first round, you know, like where you're kind of separated from your body or something. <laughs> and uh, I was just trying to regain consciousness and, um, and stay in the fight. So I really couldn't tell you how or when a lot of things happened. Adam and I were the third fight up. We came in and we really, <laughs> really going for it.
Hamish was, did amazingly. He, he did all the right things. Yeah, man, I thought he did really well. And I'm, I was really glad I wasn't in there with him. And every, and it just, it didn't, it just got better and better, and all the fights just became more amazing. They were all amazing. Shay and Caitlin, that, that one's the one I've watched the most, I think. They just kept punching each other in the face, those two girls, it's crazy. It's hard not to picture Shay just beating the shit out of her, and then to see Caitlin just beat the shit out of Shay right back. You know, I mean, she was talking a lot of shit, right? Saying how she was gonna take me out, you know, two attacks and stuff. I, you know, I know I'm pretty tough, and I knew I could get in there and, you know, stay three rounds with her. That fight was just fucking incredible. Hermanos is good, you know. I mean, I know he broke his hand in the, in the first first round, but he, he stuck it out. Punching back with a broken hand, like it's pretty tough. <laughs> so get on him, man. Chen Wei's and Chris Betts' fight was pretty good. It was entertaining. It was very back and forth. I mean, once you're in that ring, it doesn't... You just kind of fight, and a lot of it's instincts. And then I knocked him down first, and that was pretty awesome. That was, you know, probably my highlight of the fight. Um, two minutes later, he knocked me down with like essentially the same combo. I actually think he knocked me out a little bit because I just remember being on the ground, being like, "Oh shit, I, I gotta get up! <laughs> I gotta get up now!" You know, the end of I think round one when Chris was kind of Ugh, and Chen Wei just kind of backed into his corner and you could see the ref being like, come on, fight! And you can hear Dave in the corner being like, fight! Yeah, the ref was yelling, the, everybody was yelling, uh, you know, even the commentators were yelling. And uh, I gave in 100% and knowing that I did, win or lose, like, you know, I was pretty happy with it. I knew, I thought the first round was like really close. I knew that I didn't win the second round and I felt fairly confident that I, I did win the third round or that it was close. But when the results came out, like, um, you know. It's just like, oh shit, no way. <laughs> like, yeah, okay. I was really stoked, like it was awesome. Um, and then when they told me that I didn't, that, it was like, you know, like. And so I got to sit with the judges, which was really cool. I took all the judges' forms and then I put it on the card for the announcer. I'm, I'm part of the reason that, that Chris Betts got the wrong title and like, it wasn't entirely my fault, it was like the judge next to me's fault, but I just took that and carried it on to the point where, you know, a belt went to the wrong person. Like, you know, I had feelings of like just being embarrassed for like being so happy about it and then like cheering with all my friends and then being like, I feel bad for Chris for that to happen too and um, you know because we both earned it I think he did a great job too. I think his name's Oreski. He's just warming me up on the pads and uh, he's like oh your fight's up right now let's go get your headgear on. And I'm like oh we're not wearing headgear and he's like what? He's like you're fighting Chris Zacker without headgear on? Um, he's like did you agree to this? And I look at him I'm like what the fuck dude like you're warming me up. He's like, oh, okay, I just don't think, I don't think that's a good idea. And so all, automatically, I'm like, really, like, I don't know if this is a mind game or if he's friends with Chris or something. So, so that kind of threw me for a bit of a loop. It was, it was an interesting situation to be in, being the last fight of the night, because you had nothing but build up. You could tell that our, our level of intensity was both sort of, you know, going up at the same degree.
I went in there, I was scared of Chris. I, I know, he's a big dude, he trained really hard, he's strong, he's intimidating looking, and, and he's taking it really seriously. Once we got into the ring, um, I don't remember much of it. I just, I walked into a punch. It woke me up. And yeah, getting knocked down, it sort of, it calmed me, but it also meant, holy shit, I, I realized I'm now the undercard. I'm the underdog in this. That he is, if this fight ends right now, I lose. And so it helped me focus a little bit. Again, it was kind of back and forth. Um, I thought Chris was kind of dominating the fight. Going into my corner, my coach saying, you're scared of him, don't be scared of him. Get in there and brawl him, fight him. He's like, he's tired, you're not. Attack him, chase him and fight him. Do whatever you gotta do. Because it was just one of those things, again, like, like a golf swing or hitting a baseball, you don't feel it. It just, it was like a connection and it, I didn't feel it in my body. You know, I felt close to the guy for, for this amount of time. Like you're sharing something together, you're doing something together. And when I thought he was hurt, like total climax of the whole, of three months actually, you know. Was, but then, and then in my mind I was like, fuck, is this how it ends? Like, Somebody goes to hospital. Like, I've never seen anybody got, get knocked out. I don't know what happens. I almost started crying. Like I've never seen somebody be knocked out before. It was kind of like watching something die. Uh, Chris got knocked out right in the end. Uh, it's pretty exciting to watch. He was like away with the fairies. Like, and I'm just, I'm just like sitting there going, "Is he gonna fucking get up?" He's like puts his fists up again, and he's like ready to go. Right? And he's like, "What? What?" Like he's going crazy. His eyes are like toffee pennies. He's just got his eyes are all fucking crazy. Like. It freaked the shit out of me, actually. I was just like completely blown away by, by that whole, like, that, that, just that little fucking, that section of time in my life I will never, ever forget. Anyway, that was a great, great way to finish the night. This couldn't have been written, like, it was fucking crazy. So, I guess the Chris Simon fight was my favorite fight. <laughs> Changed my life. I look forward to training. I look forward to, I want to be motivated towards something, and I think, Boxing is such a good thing for that. Like, I find myself wanting to be more fit, wanting to be more strong. I find myself looking forward to being in that zone, working with my friends, pushing each other, lifting each other up, and like, you know, telling each other that you could do it. You're amazing. Probably got the money's worth on that one. Did they get their money's worth? I think so. So this is an opportunity to get in the shape and and to hopefully build a gym or a facility or a program for some kids that, that don't necessarily have anywhere else to go. That was awesome. My pleasure, absolutely. Yeah, it was really fun. Boxing gives people a level of confidence and I think confidence is very important in people. I feel, I feel for the kids now that have lost their gym because I don't have a gym and I don't know what to do now. Like, I, I miss it. I miss the training, I miss the camaraderie, I miss I miss the intensity and I, I miss I miss the people and I think that's what's important here, like the sense of belonging and having that kind of backup. Nigel! Oh yeah. Yes. First beer. Three months. In the end we were able to raise a good amount of money that do we raise more? We most certainly can. Will we do it again next year? I hope and will we raise more money? I certainly hope so. But I think that it was a very positive thing that we raised enough money to at least get the ball rolling. I gotta get back in and do it again. For sure. Thank you, Dave. Thank you. These guys put on a fucking amazing show. Un unbelievable. This is just the beginning. Well, and I know that it'll be a place where these kids and these young people will have an opportunity to go and, and you know, have some positivity.
Shy. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, right. Step over here and left there. Again, one more. 